Hi everyone and welcome to early morning prayer request and devotions. I hope everybody's doing good this morning. I'm I'm feeling, you know, not too bad. Uh my allergies are bothering me as anyway regularly, but uh other than that I still feel tired and stuff, but I don't feel quite as sore, so it might not be quite as severe this time. Sometimes it lasts three or four days. But uh yeah, I still feel really exhausted though, but I'll I'll be fine. So, uh, on our prayer request, uh, Eshin would like us to pray for her. Ferdinand's house fell apart, and he's living under a banana tree. Pray he gets help for a new house. Charisse was in the hospital for six months and had colon surgery, so she has an ostomy now. Pray that she won't have any more problems and that she'll be okay. YC's brother Larry was in a car accident and hurt his wrist and back. Pray that he'll be okay and recover quickly. Eli is one year old and has been in the hospital the whole time except for two weeks. He's been at home. Pray for healing so that he can uh, be able to go home. Um, they left a teddy bear with Steph that had her grandchild's heartbeat recorded on it. She woke up the next day. Uh, she's still in rough shape, but she's awake. Continue to pray for Steffi. She has pain in her legs and feet. Her lymphedema is in a bad flare-up, too. Continued prayers for Michael and Danielle. Continued prayers for Katie and her son, Michael. Continued prayers for Jackie for the pain in her side. Pray for Deidre's father. He's in the hospital with diverticulitis and some other issues. Pray that he'll be okay. Uh, Joy will be having six bottom teeth pulled on May 14th to make a partial denture. She's already very nervous. Pray for comfort and peace for her. Uh, Kathleen will be getting a CT scan done on May 7th to see if she still has cancer or not. Pray that she'll be uh, cancer free. Okay. All right. And our, our scripture of the day comes from Exodus 23, 20 through 26. Okay. See, I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way and to bring you to the place I have prepared. Pay attention to him and listen to what he says. Do not rebel against him. He will not forgive your rebellion since my name is in him. If you listen carefully to what he says and do all that I say, I will be an enemy to your enemies and will oppose those who oppose you. My angel will go ahead of you and bring you into the land of the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, and Canaanites, Hivites, and Jebusites, sites, and I will wipe them out. Do not bow down before their gods or worship them or follow their practices. You must demolish them and break their sacred stones to pieces. Worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you and none will miscarry or be barren in your land. I will give you a full lifespan. Okay. I'm going to drink of water. Voice is a little trying to go. Okay, and our devotion today is entitled Angel Companions. As medical test after medical test filled up Bev's schedule, she grew overwhelmed and weary. Doctors alarmed her when they told her they were looking for cancer somewhere in her body. Each day, God faithfully encouraged her with the promises of his presence and an abiding peace when she turned to him or read the Bible. She battled with the uncertainties and frequently learned the role, uh, to roll the what-ifs into God's shoulders. Onto God's shoulders. One morning, Bev came across a verse in Exodus 23 that popped out from the page to her heart before a serious surgery. I am sending an angel ahead of you to guard you along the way. Those words were spoken by God through Moses to his people, the Israelites. He was giving his laws for his people to follow and leading them to a new land. But in the middle of those instructions, he told them he would send an angel ahead of them to guard them along the way. Even though this wasn't Bev's life situation, life's situation, she remembered that the care of angels is mentioned elsewhere in the scripture too. Psalm 91:11 says, 
He will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. And Hebrews 1.14 tells us God sends angels as ministering spirits to serve believers in Jesus. If we know Christ, he's got an angel or angels near us to minister to us as well. What might God be doing for you through his angels? How does this encourage you? I'm grateful, dear God, that you're always near, and you also have your angels watching over your children. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a fantastic morning. I'd love to see you later on morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.